Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne. And today is part five of our series outlining the further integration of Pro Tools and Melodyne using ARA. Now in the previous videos we talked a lot about instantiating Melodyne, removing it, clearing and rendering edits and committing them. But today what we're going to be talking about is something I know a lot of people have been waiting for and are excited about, which is comping. For example, comping together a lead vocal. Now, prior to Melodyne with ARA, the process of comping your lead vocal and tuning and timing had to be two separate processes, right? You had to comp the lead vocal and then go through and do any tuning and timing because of the way that Melodyne was put on a track as a plugin. But now with this new tight integration, our process of comping and selecting the lead vocal takes and going through and tuning and timing can all be one smooth continuous process right here. It's going to make things a lot easier. So let's dive in and take a look. I've got this lead vocal right here that I'm going to be comping and tuning from today and we can see this. And the first thing I want to do is put Melodyne on this the same as I would any other track. I'll right click and then come over here to where it says Melodyne and hit edit. And this will take a second to analyze the track, but there we see that right there and we see that we've got the entire track on there. So we've also got over here, lead vocal one, right? And then alt one and alt two. I've got an alternate takes right here that I'm gonna be comping from. So instead of looking at waveform, I'm gonna to wanna to look at playlists. And now by looking at this, we can tell, you can tell because of all these MIDI notes right here, that Melodyne is on your main playlist, but it is not on these other two playlists right here. And this is the first part that's really important. If I right click on this and come to Melodyne, you'll see that edit is not an option. And that's because there's a specific way that we have to work right here. And this is done to make sure that what you are looking at and listening to is what you're tuning as well, is the solo knob right here, the solo button right here. When you click this solo button, now we can put Melodyne on, right? This will heavily focus on whatever one of these playlists is soloed. So now that it's soloed, I can right click on it and come to Melodyne and hit edit. And this is now really the first thing that I recommend you do. If you're going to comp a vocal, just come through and solo each playlist and quickly put Melodyne on there. It takes just a few extra seconds, still way faster than doing it in the old way. All right, and now we can see, right? This third playlist is soloed. That's what we see right here. If I solo this other playlist, it changes our view inside here. If I solo it here, now we're looking at the alternate playlist. If I take off solo, we're now looking at the main playlist. Okay. Great. So now let's do a little bit of comping together right here, right? Let's say I want to take this one and I'm just going to click on this and promote it like so. And then I'll come over here to this take and take that one and promote that as well. And then I'll just do one more from right over here and promote this like so. All right. So now what we've done is I've sort of comped together a, a little bit of a vocal take right there. Now I wanna show you something that I think is really cool. And you'll notice whenever I switch to a different clip, it is moving alongside that, right? It's changing that. But when I switch to this, it's not changing. And that is because, again, this track is not soloed right here. If I solo this track and then click on any one of these clips, you're gonna see that what it will do is update like so immediately because this track is soloed. All right, so I'm going to unsolo this and come back to our main playlist right up here. And I'm going to turn off the zoom to selection in DAW. This is probably one of the only times I'm going to turn this off. And that's because I really want to be able to see the boundaries in between clips. You'll see these thick black lines right here, right? Those thick black lines are the borders between clips. You can turn this off right here if you want. I'm going to leave this on because I like having these on. So let's say I want to zoom in and change the border a little bit right there. I want to change what's happening. And you'll watch that Melodyne will now update, right? Along with what's happening right here, Melodyne is going to update and change as we see this. So let's say I want to get this word exactly in, but none of this other stuff after it. I can stop right there. And now we've got that changeover point. And if you listen, we get... Oops. Easy does it now. Just like that. A very easy way to switch between all of those takes right there. Okay. Now let's zoom into this one because I want to show you another really important thing. 
Uh, and this will lead me to a, a very smart method that I like for working right here. Let's say you're looking at this track. Now, on this playlist, on our main playlist right now, I promoted this from Alt 2. So if I come in here and let's let's make an edit, right? I'm going to turn uh, zoom to selection back on. And I'm going to make this edit really obvious just for auditory purposes right here. I'm going to take this entire clip and just take all of this and just move it up two semitones just so we know, right, that what we're dealing with. And you'll see it's now starting exactly on G, that first notice right there on G. Okay, so maybe now we come through here and I uh, I want to like listen to one of the other playlists and see. Maybe I'll swap this out. So I'm going to come down here and if I solo this one, we'll listen to it. And the motion, so now they can feel. Let's say I like this one better, right? So I go ahead and I promote it. Now that I've moved this up there, I can unsolo this and go back and we'll hear this in the main playlist right there. And the motion so now okay great now let's say I came back here to this one again and I was like you know what I think that I actually would rather have this one I change my mind and I go back I'll promote this again but now when we look at it you'll see that note was not moved up to the G we lost all of those edits because we promoted over this and this is the way that Pro Tools works entirely if any one single clip is entirely removed or covered up it disappears from the session. So let me show you a way that I like to work. If I'm gonna be working in comping together vocals, this is the way that I prefer. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over here to my playlists and I'm gonna create a new playlist. And I'm gonna call this my comp playlist, like so. Now I've got an empty playlist up here that to comp, right? And so now what I can do is switch to this playlist, solo it, and let's give it a listen. All the voices get loud. All right, so I've, I like this one and I want to do some edits. I can just come through here and I'll note, put that note there. I'll double click on that one. I'll move this note here and maybe I'll change the, the timing of this right here. Maybe I'll double click on this note. I've made some light edits. Now what I can do is promote this one to my comp track. And now no matter what happens later on, if I accidentally promote this one, right? I can switch over and hear that one. But if I switch back to this and switch back to this one and promote this again, and we look at it like so by turning off solo, right? Remember, you gotta have, solo is going to show you whatever is, uh, whatever is soloed right there. So if I turn this off, we now go back to this original one. And this is now the edited take. Because I didn't edit in my comp playlist, because I made all of my editing choices in the original playlist where the track existed that's still there no matter how I comp and put this together. Hope you've enjoyed this today. Thanks.